Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby and Sun. Say hi, Connor. Hi. Coming back to you guys with a little baseball rip today. It's going to be a short one, but I'm also going to do a quick recap because, uh, well, I'll show you guys what I'm going to rip first. So let's throw that up there. Against my better judgment, I got one single box of 2023 Topps Inception Baseball. That's right. One pack, seven cards in here. Um, I've seen a lot of crap pulled out of here. I've seen a lot of good stuff. There is like no in the middle with that. We'll talk about that momentarily though. I am going to recap for you guys. I got one single 2023 Bowman Draft Hobby Jumbo box, and uh, I actually ripped it off camera. I decided to go that route. Uh, I wanted to rip it with my son. We went for the Brady, you know, how expensive they were. And let's just say, as you guys can figure out here from the quick recap I'm going to show you, that I flushed that $550 right down the drain because we did not get anything great. I'm only going to show you guys kind of the better cards I pulled out of there. So Joe Vitrano out of $199. Uh, that was a chrome. This is a paper here. Connolly Early out of four ninety nine. Max Clark, just the prospects not numbered or any parallel or anything like that. We got a Max Clark there with the draft. Again, not a parallel or anything though. A William Bergola out of one twenty five. Uh, this is some of the only ones we got here, even though they're just papers. I mean, this is how bad the box was. Paul Skeens, paper. Wyatt Langford, paper. Cole Young with the, uh, I can't remember what the heck that's even called, turf or whatever the heck, it's not numbered, I genuinely forget right now, the Cole Young though, Wyatt Langford again in the paper, Max Clark paper, we did hit one of these stained glass, a Chase Davis, that might be the best card of the entire box, unfortunately, Hunter Owen out of 250, uh, Camden Manachi or Manaki, uh, it's going to be sky blue there. Gabriel Gonzalez out of $4.99. That's a paper. Our autographs, Joe Redfield. That's a refractor out of $4.99. I'll show you guys that real quick. That's our only numbered autograph, I believe, as well. Jake Cunningham, non-numbered, and a Carson Rocaforte, I believe is how it's pronounced. But, uh, oof, yeah. All those cards do not even total up to $100. So, yeah, we got skunked there. I decided I would only try one box, just going for that Brady. Pretty we tough. didn't hit it. Yeah, it was a rough box, yep. But anyway, let's change that around right here. We're going to do the Inception. Um, I have tapered expectations with this box because I've seen a lot of it ripped, and like I said, there is no in the middle. You either hit big or you get absolutely nothing. Um, we will get an autograph in here, though. That should be for sure. Let's hope there's something that's pretty big in this. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's a hobby-only product. It's, it's Inception. They're going to be artsy-looking cards with this kind of background there and stuff like that. Seven cards in here. It's one single pack. You're going to find one auto or one auto relic card per box. You could get a redemption, as it said there, um, and they don't really tell you too much else there. So with that being said, let's get into this. I picked this up at one of my LCSs, and I really haven't opened any of this in more than a year. So, I mean, the pack feels thick, but I don't know if it's genuinely thick or if it's just because they're all thick cardstock. It's been a while since I've handled it. But anyway, it comes like this. Let's see what we see from the side. We want thick. I think we might have something thick. Looks like right in the middle, a thick. Yep. Yeah, I think we might have a thick card. I think it's a patch. A patch would be nice. I think you get like four patches per case. It's not a booklet, that's for sure. It looks like it's the fifth card down. We will see. Let's just do this. All right, so here's what the base cards look like. Randy Rosarena starting us off. I'll show you guys that Stone Garrett uh, rookie behind there, but this is what the back of the cards look like if you're not familiar with them. They don't really do too much on the back there as far as giving you stats and stuff. They give you a little kind of mini paragraph and one line of stats. Kind of the basic stuff, but it's all about like the artsy fartsy stuff here in the background. So Randy Rosarena starting us off there. Stone Garrett rookie behind it. <coughs> Excuse me. Behind there we got Trey Turner. And it gets a little interesting from here on. Looks like we got our first number card out of 75. Oh, it's an autograph, no less. What is going on with this pack? This is weird. Jonah Bride, on card rookie auto out of 75, and the thick card is behind there, so I don't know what's going on. I'm going to pull from the bottom, guys. So, Yenner Cano, non numbered rookie on the end. We got a bunch of green here, so it looks like two greens here. This will be, looks like Yordi. Yep, and those are actually, I'm sorry, these greens are not numbered at the bottom. So, Yordi, green parallel, then this should be a green parallel here as well, not numbered. 
A Bo Bichette, we'll take that. And then our last card, that thick card. What? This is weird. It is a little bit weird. I think we got a two hit. Autograph. I think we got a two hit box. Player worn. So we did hit a jersey or patch or something. Looks like it goes like this. I think I see the T in the tops. Hope it's a patch. I see some red. How awesome would that be to get? Oh man, something angels. Give me angels. Give me a trout or an Otani. Ugh, oh, I'd lose it. It's not going to be that. It's going to be for the A's again. Wouldn't that be something if it's a Jonah Bride? But I would like somebody all-time great. Give me a Ricky Henderson. Give me a Big Mac. It is an auto. It's going to be an auto jersey or patch. Shea Langoliers. I'll take it. Oh, uh, patch. Not too bad. Nice looking patch right there. Wow. How about that, too? Bookend. 25 of 25. Two off the jersey number. But uh, that's really, really nice. A double hit. Double hit box right there. It's not absolutely gigantic players or anything like that, but that Shea Langoliers is pretty, pretty cool. Double hit box. Double hit box. Yeah, we'll take it. So, down there, you guys, that was a quick box of Inception. Not, not too bad of a box. I'm pretty happy with that one. You never know. Maybe I'll go pick up another one of these at the LCS uh, until my luck runs out, maybe. But there you guys go. Uh, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share. Click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. is always in the description below. You can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever y'all are at, and we will see you next time. See you later, Algar. And while you crocodiles.